This protocol is intended to provide instructions for running the Born method of turbidimetric aggregation using a chronolog optical aggregometer. Platelet aggregation is the term used to describe the formation of platelet clumps or aggregates. In vivo, these aggregates are formed at the site of injury to the blood vessel wall and contribute to the initial step of primary hemostasis. Aggregation is measured with a platelet aggregometer photometrically using platelet-rich plasma, abbreviated PRP. The rate and degree of aggregation are plotted using a recording device and platelet aggregation is stimulated by multiple agonists. PRP, which is turbid, is stirred in a test cuvette maintained at 37 degrees Celsius. The light transmittance through this turbid sample is measured relative to the platelet pore plasma, abbreviated PPP. When the agonist is added, platelets form increasingly larger aggregates and the PRP will begin to clear, which will allow more light to pass through it. This increase in light transmittance is directly proportional to the amount of aggregation. First, we begin with obtaining anticoagulated blood drawn via direct vein of puncture or indwelling catheter and anticoagulated with sodium citrate. In both cases, it is important that all blood is drawn with smooth, easy flow to avoid platelet activation and or hemolysis. Samples must remain at room temperature from draw through processing. Testing can begin within 30 minutes after vein of puncture and should be completed within three hours of draw. After obtaining blood tubes, they are inverted five times and inserted into the centrifuge. Select PRP until desired LED is illuminated and press start button. Sample will centrifuge for 30 seconds. Upon completion, carefully remove tubes using care not to resuspend the sediment. Samples should not look lipemic or hemolyzed. The plasma should appear golden yellowish. Remove most of the PRP without disturbing the white buffy layer and taking care not to disturb the red cells using a transfer pipette and place into a polypropylene tube. Next, re-spin the sodium citrate by selecting PPP setting until the desired LED is illuminated and press start button. Sample will centrifuge for 120 seconds. Remove remaining plasma and transfer 500 microliters into a cuvette. At this point, we were able to begin the aggregation test. Insert PPP into PPP well one. Add stir bars to four cuvettes and add 475 microliters of PRP. It is important to make sure the PRP is mixed thoroughly before transferring to the cuvettes. Insert PRP into incubation wells for four minutes. 
with taking care to thoroughly wipe cuvettes and check for bubbles. If bubbles are present, gently tap cuvette to eliminate. Initiate new test procedure. Select run new patient on your agrometer window. Enter test ID, patient's name, etc. Under test procedure, select specific test procedure. Transfer the incubated PRP tubes to wells one through four. Select OK to begin test. Push the set baseline button. The tracing should move to 100% of the bottom of the graph when the button is pressed and hold it there for one to two seconds. The tracing should move to 0% when the button is released. The unit is now calibrated to 0 to 100% light transmittance. Incubate for two minutes. After baseline has, has stabilized, add appropriate agonist. Thoroughly mix collagen and AA by vortexing. Note, a Kim wipe should be used on the tip of the pipette to avoid extra volume being added. When adding collagen, depress plunger past blowout stop three times to ensure complete addition. When adding arachidonic acid, mix in microtube by pipetting in and out three times. Once the tracing from the last agonist reaches seven minutes, press the stop button. Next, press the start stop lines button, and then set the start line by dragging it to a new position just before the agonist was added. Similarly, adjust the stop line for all channels at the end of each tracing. Make sure slope and amplitude are selected, and press done. Calculate the slope and amplitude by pressing the Calculate Slope and Amplitude button in the drop-down menu. Make sure that the duration is adjusted to 6 minutes and 5 seconds for each channel. Finally, press OK and you will see the tracing as follows. Please note Max Amp Aggregation and End Amp Final Aggregation. Save the file and print for records.